Hey, I am so glad you are joining me today. Are you ready to start learning about number bonds? We'll talk more about it right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. to be starting this unit on number bonds with you. Number bonds are super important in level one math and we want to make sure you know them really well. So teachers, we will be slowing down these next few lessons to give us time to practice, but if you feel like you want to slow down further, please do so before continuing. So let's get started. Take a look at the stickers you see on my table. Can you tell your teacher how many stickers there are? Did you say five? Let's count them to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. So now let's look at our five stickers and let's break them up into groups. Let's see how many stickers have blue on their faces. Did you say two? So I'm gonna put my two stickers with blue over here and the stickers without blue on this side. Two have blue on their face. How many don't have blue? Three. Two and three make five. Let's do it again. Let's mix them up. Now, how many stickers don't have any of the bright pink color on them? Can you look closely and find out how many? I see one. One sticker has no pink on them. How many stickers have pink on them? Did you say four? You're right. One, two, three, four. One and four make five. Do you notice that I'm not adding any more stickers? I'm just rearranging them differently? Let's do that again. Let's put them all together. Let's go by size. How many stickers are the same size? Three are the same size and two are smaller. Three and two make five. Can you think of another way to break up our group of stickers? I have one. How many stickers have faces on them? That's right, all of them do. One, two, three, four, five. So we say five, and how many stickers have no faces on them? Zero. Five and zero make five. Do you see how that works? We have been practicing number bonds by moving our stickers into different groups. But now let's try this again using our Unifix cubes. You get yours ready and I'll get mine. Do you have your Unifix cubes ready? Good, let's get started. I have my cubes in a tower of five. Can you make sure yours are linked together in a group of five? Good. Now watch what I do and then you could do it with me. I have five linking cubes grouped together. I'm going to break one off. How many cubes are still linked together? Did you say four? Can you do that at home too? Can you show me one and four? Now watch what I do. If you have your whiteboard ready, you can do this too. We are going to make our number bond template. I'm going to draw a big circle about right here. This is gonna tell me how many Unifix cubes we started with. How many did we start with? Five. So let's write a five in our big circle. That's our whole number. Now I'm going to draw two little circles off the bottom. One little circle, two little circles. 
Now watch what I do. Here were my five unifix cubes. Remember how we broke off one unifix cube? There's one part. And how many parts were left over? Four. One and four make how many? Five. So I'm gonna leave that there and let's do it again. This time, before we get started, let's draw another number bond template. You can do it at home or you can just watch me. So here's my whole circle. And here's my one part and another part. We like to say part, part. You add those together to make your whole. Or two parts make my whole. Here is another tower of five unifix cubes. Do you have yours ready? Now, let's break them apart in another way. How many are we starting with? Five. So let's write five in our whole. Now, let's break them apart a different way. We already did one and four. Can you think of a different way to break them apart? I'm gonna do right here, three and two. Did I add any more unifix cubes? No, I'm still working with five, but I broke them apart in a different way. How many was my first part? One, two, three. And how many are left over? Two. So we can say three and two make five. So far, we have one and four make five. And now we have three and two make five. Can you think of another way to show five? There's still more. Let's do one more together. I'm gonna make another number bond template. Here's my whole, and here's one part, and another part. So I'm gonna write five in my whole, and now let's see if we can break them apart in a new way that we haven't done before. Watch what I do. Here's my five. Did I break it apart? No! Five, and how many are left over? Zero. Five and zero is still a number bond. Do you see how that works? I didn't break any apart, but I still have five unifix cubes. So that is a number bond. Do you also notice how I drew it differently? It doesn't matter which way our number bond template faces, it's still the same. Whole, part, part. So let's go over the number bonds we did. Can you tell your teacher what our first one was? Yes, one and four make five. So I'm gonna write it right here. One and four make five. What was the second one we did? Three and two make five. And what was my third one that we did? You got it. Five plus zero makes five. Before we go, I wanna show you one more thing that's special about number bonds. Let's look right here. One and four make five. What if I switched them around? Instead of breaking off one, I broke off four first and had one left over. Does my answer change? No, it's the reverse or it's the opposite. One and four make five, it's the same as four and one make five. Look at this one. Three and two is what I had first, but what if I broke off two first and had three left over? Does my answer change? No, it's just the opposite. 
I had three and two to make five, but now I have two and three, just the opposite. My answer stays the same. So now, what do you think this one would be here at the bottom? At first, I had five and zero broken off. But what if I did the opposite? What would it be? You got it. Zero and five left over. Do you see how that works? That's what's so neat about number bonds. We're going to continue doing this some more later. Bye.